Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to discuss in detail about static keyword in C language. Let's get started. So the static keyword is nothing but one of the storage class specifier in C language. And this static storage class specifier can be used along with both the function declaration and definition and also the variable declaration and definition. So now let us discuss about the important properties of the static keyword. So if you are declaring and defining a local variable as static local variable in C language, then that particular local variable will be capable of retaining its value over various function calls. That is, if you are declaring and defining a local variable as static inside a particular function, that variable will be capable of retaining its value over various function calls. So that we will see now. So now you can see on the screen the program that we developed in the lecture of creating source files and header files in C language. So this is the same program you can clearly see we created our user defined source file that is user underscore file1.c and the respective header file for the source file that is user underscore file1.h and we included that header to our main function and we called the two functions that is defined and declared inside this source file user file1.c and here we just did the declaration of these two functions you can clearly see function 1 and function 2 are declared right over here and it has been defined right over here inside the function 1 we are printing the string from function 1 and inside the function 2 we are printing from function 2 string and inside the main function we are calling the function 1 and function 2 and then we are printing the string inside main that's it so now we are just going to demonstrate the purpose of static local variables so coming to the function one i am just going to declare two different variables of int data type int variable underscore normal is equal to zero and another variable that i am going to declare and define is the static variable variable static is equal to 0 and below that I am just going to increment the normal variable and also the static variable and after the increment process I am just going to print variable normal is equal to the value of normal variable I am just printing and going to the next line I am just going to print variable static here I am just providing the variable names for printing that respective variables maybe I will just increment these two variables at the end of this function so this program will help us to understand the difference between normal local variable and static local variable and as I mentioned this static local variable is capable of retaining its value over the function calls that is Coming to the main function, I am just going to call this function 1 three times. I am not going to use this inside main, I am just commenting it out. I am just saving this file. And now you can see once the function 1 call is made right over here in the main, what happens is the control enters into this function 1 and this 
normal variable will be initialized to 0 and then the static variable will be initialized to 0 and in the next line that is the next consequent line what happens here is the normal variable value and the static variable value will be printed on the debug viewer window that is in the first function call these two values will be 0 0 and after the printing process this normal variable will be incremented to 1 and the static variable value will be also incremented to 1 and after this increment process has completed the control will be exiting this function and again coming to the next line again this function 1 call is made now what happens is again the control comes inside this function 1 we are not using this function 2 so just uh, you just neglect this function 2 we are not using it and coming inside the function 1 the, the control will again create the variable called variable normal is equal to 0 but since this variable declared and defined right over here is a static variable this will not be created again instead what happens here is it will be retaining its value or the old value that is 1 so again the printing operation will be performed that is the normal variable value will be 0 and static variable value will be retaining its old value that is 1 right over here again the variable normal will be incremented to 1 since it has been declared and defined right over here to this function call and again the variable static will be incremented to 1 already its value is 1 so it will be incremented to the value 2 and it will be exiting this function and again for the third time when this function is called again the normal variable will be declared and defined and it will be initialized to the value 0 and this static variable will be will not be declared and defined because it has already been declared and it has been loaded with the value 2 which it is already retaining so now what happens here is the printing operation is performed that is the normal variable value will again print the value 0 and the static variable value will be printed that is 2 and again the increment operation happens that is normal variable will be incremented to 1 and the static variable will be incremented to 3. So for the first time these two variable values will be 0, 0. And for the second time the value of the normal variable will be printed to be 0 and the value of the static variable will be printed to be 1. And for the third function call, again the normal variable value will be, will be printing the value 0 and the static variable value will be printing the value 2. So this is our expectation. Let me just run this program. You can see in the bottom I am having the debug viewer window. I am just so the debug view has been arrived in keel microvision ide you can see the keel has opened the debug view of the keel microvision ide now when i run this program you can see for the first time the variable normal is having the value 0 and variable static is having the value 0 and for the second function call again the variable normal is having the value 0 but the variable static is having the value 1 it has retained the value successfully for the first time and for the third time when the function is called variable normal is having the value 0 but variable static is now having the value 2. So it is successfully retaining the value over various function calls that has been made. So this is the explanation or the demonstration for that particular line that I have written right over here. That is when the variable is declared and defined locally it will retain the value over function calls if it is declared as static variables and the second thing that we are going to see is if the variable is global that is if you are declaring and defining 
a global variable a static global variable it can be of any data type but we are using the static keyword before that data type if you are declaring that particular global variable as static that means the variable visibility will be limited to that particular file that variable cannot be used in other files even though when you are using the same header file where you have declared and defined that variable so that will be limiting the scope or visibility of that variable to that particular file if you are declaring that global variable as static in that file so now let us demonstrate that so now I am just going to demonstrate the property of global static variable. So I am just taking out these two declaration and definition which was done locally before and I am going to make it global right over here to this file. And as we discussed in the lecture of extend keyword explained, we are just going to declare these two variables to the respective dot h file right over here when i do that you can clearly see we just want to declare these two variables to the dot h file with the help of extend keyword so that we can use this variable wherever this dot h file has been included but in case of static variable if I try to add extern before the static storage class specifier, you can clearly see this is throwing me an error. Cannot combine with previous extern declaration specifier. So extern is a storage specifier and static is another storage specifier. So you cannot combine these two storage specifiers together so you cannot combine these two storage specifiers together so this means that when a variable is declared and defined with the static storage specifier it cannot be used in another files that is you cannot use this variable static in any other files in your project other than user file one dot c because it has been declared with the keyword static so that it is dedicated to this particular file user file one dot c but this normal variable that is var underscore normal is a normal global variable which has been declared with extern keyword in the dot h file so you can use this normal variable in main dot c file but you cannot use this var underscore static variable because it has been declared as static int or it is using static storage specifier so it has been dedicated to this particular source file that is user file 1.c that is this one so for avoiding the usage of variables from one file to any other files you can declare those variables as static and you can use them in one particular file but if you want to extend the scope of that variable to various files or to one another files or to even for one file you just want to use the keyword extend for declaring that variable and using them in another files so this is the major difference between static global variable and normal global variable so i hope you understood the difference between normal global variable and static storage class specified global variable and this applies for the functions too let us demonstrate that when i declare this function as static void function 1 here also i am just declaring static void function 1 i am just saving this 
saving everything and i when i compile this you can see in the main dot c file i have referred and called function one thrice but the error that i am getting right over here is undefined symbol function one referred from main dot o which means this program cannot find the function named function one because this function has been made static in this user file one dot c so this function has been dedicated to this particular source file and you can call this function within this file and you cannot call and use this function that is dedicated to this file in another files because it has been made static so the same method is applied for functions also as we declared right over here this function is static so now when i compile after removing these two you can see it is showing me zero errors and zero warnings and i hope the second point is also clear that is when the variable is global and when it is static that will make the variable available only for that file and the same principle is applied for static functions also when the function is also declared and defined as static that function is dedicated to that particular source file and you cannot call that function in any other file other than that file where it has been declared and defined so for isolating a particular set of variables or functions and dedicate them to one particular file you can use this static storage class specifier so from the demonstrations we understood that the static local variable is capable of retaining its value over various function calls and static global variable is limited to that one particular file where it is defined and declared and also the static functions are dedicated to that particular file and we cannot use those functions in other files even though we are adding the header file where it has been declared and defined to other files so these are the properties of static keyword in c language i hope you learned the importance of static variables and functions see you in the next video thanks for watching